Hello, my name is Marcello. Welcome to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the new DC1 DAC card for the I-50 integrated tube amplifier from our friends at Audio Research Corporation. This video will primarily discuss the design and price of the DAC card and how previous owners can obtain the digital analog converter for their existing I-50 amplifiers. First, let's talk a little history. In 2020, the design of the DAC card began with an AKM Velvet Sound DAC chip, which Audio Research chose for its combination of high performance sound and advanced features, such as higher sample rates, automatic switching between PCM, DSD, and DOP modes. Audio Research felt the first DAC card sounded sensational. However, in October 2020, a fire and an AKM factory destroyed the availability of much of AKM's DAC line, derailing the I-50 DAC launch. In early 2021, ARC designers returned to the drawing board, auditioning other DAC chips with promising results. Unfortunately, the worldwide chip shortage in 2021 resulted in audio research being unable to procure two other critical components, and the DAC card program was frozen again. However, as in life, everything tends to happen for a reason, and this delay turned out to be a blessing in disguise as AKM relaunched their Velvet Sound DAC chips in 2022. Audio Research was able to obtain superior performance and specifications from the updated version of the DAC chip. The DC1 is a flexible DAC with optical, digital coaxial, USB inputs, and Bluetooth streaming. Audio Research describes the sound of the DC1 as transparent, dynamic, detailed, and fully flushed out. The presentation is without grain, with a lovely focus and texture to its sound regardless of which input is used. Instructions to install the DC1 DAC in the i50 will be provided to your local dealer with each card, which needs to be purchased from and installed directly by your local audio research dealer for current owners because of the voltages involved. The power supply must be properly discharged before the installation for safety reasons. While I have the DAC module here with me in-house and was ready to install the card into my personal i50 on my trusty Milwaukee toolbench, during the process of installation, I discovered via the install directions provided to us dealers that the serial number of my personal I-50 was one of the earlier in production and needs to be sent to an authorized audio research facility for a more advanced install than some of the newer I-50 models, which can be taken to your local audio research dealer like our TSAV showroom in Torrance, California to have the DAC installed. Suppose you do have one of the early serial numbers like myself. In that case, there is no additional charge to have the more advanced DAC install performed at the authorized service center nearest you. It will only be the cost of the DC1 DAC card and one-way shipping to the facility, similar to having the phono module installed after purchase. If you have one of the earlier I-50 integrated amplifiers with a serial number of SN54607 or lower, you must take your amplifier to your local dealer to help get your I-50 to the closest authorized service center to have the DAC card installed. If you have a higher serial number than SN54607, your local dealer should be able to do it for you at their location. So while I can't offer you my sound impressions of the new DC1 DAC card, what I can tell you is that the ARC I-50 continues to be my favorite amplifier in the house with my Sonus Fabra Olympica Nova 5 speakers, which I do pair up with at times with an AKM Premium 32-bit 768 digital to analog converter found in another one of my components I use in my system. The synergy of the AKM chip with the Audio Research I-50 is fantastic. Since I have heard my personal I-50 with several core DACs, a Sabre DAC, and the AKM chip, what I can say is the velvet sound of AKM chips is a beautiful marriage with the transparent, high definition, and holographic sound of the I-50 integrated tube amplifier and my reference Nova 5 towers. I am happy Audio Research chose AKM for the internal DAC and didn't choose a Sabre chip as I feel that combination in my room was not as synergistic sounding. The AKM DAC I have in the house is less analytical sounding than, say, my Core TT2 DAC, sounding a bit more analog and velvety in presentation, with a bit fuller sounding bass, which is an excellent match synergistically, in my opinion, for the i50. With that said, I look forward to the next time I visit our showroom to hear the i50 with a new DC1 DAC card installed on our showroom models to hear precisely how Audio Research implemented the AKM chip for the i50. So let's talk specs on the chip and sample rates before we wrap up. The USB with PCM provides up to 384 kHz with 8, 16, 24, or 32-bit sample rates. The DC1 also has DSD64 and DSD128 with DOP64 and DOP128. Via Bluetooth, the DC1 is 48 kHz, 24-bit, upsampled to 211 kHz, 32-bit. According to Audio Research, it sounds quite good and can be fun for house guests who want to connect and play music from their mobile devices. Via the optical, the DC1 DAC provides up to 96 kHz, 8, 16, and 24-bit samples, upsampled to 211 kHz, 32-bit. Lastly, the coax provides up to 192 kHz, 8, 16, or 24-bit samples, upsampled to 211 kHz, 32-bit. 
Contrary to ARC's fall update, the DC1 is not rune ready and will not unfold MQA for you title hi-fi users. However, it does work with a rune endpoint and audio research informed me they tested for this. Not having MQA, my least favorite streaming file type by the way, and rune ready certification has allowed audio research to offer the DC1 DAC for $1,000, which is significantly less than what it would have cost with those features. According to Audio Research, the DC-1 is already shipping for customer orders to dealers and will start to back order soon, so if you are a current owner of the i50 or want to purchase a new i50 with a DC-1 DAC card installed, call or visit your local dealer ASAP to get your order in. If you are not a current owner of the i50, you should get down to your local Audio Research dealer and demo the amplifier. It punches above its weight, driving speakers it technically should struggle to drive on paper, but it drives them easily and is my favorite tube amplifier I have heard for under $10,000. Sitting about 9 feet away from my Nova 5 speakers in my sound-treated listening room, I rarely listen above 30 on the Lexi tubes. The amp sounds just as good at lower listening levels, fleshing out so much detail on dynamic shifts in music with a sense of air, space, and beautiful sound staging that is just gorgeous sounding in my room. I've also listened to the i50 with my Kef LS50 Meta speakers, as well as my Eclipse Heresy 4 speakers, and was very pleased with those pairings as well. So even if you don't own Sonos Faber speakers, I have found the amp to pair beautifully with several of the speakers I have in the house. The i50 is by far my favorite vinyl listening setup in-house with a fantastic phono input that has been custom designed at Audio Research and pairs so well with a Marantz TT 15S1 turntable and clear audio virtuoso cartridge. If you would like to learn more about the i50, I will link a couple of videos at the end of this video talking more about the i50 and an excellent interview we did with Brandon from Audio Research. At the time of filming this video, we have the i50 in stock at our 10,000 square foot Torrance, California showroom to pair with numerous speakers from some of the best manufacturers in the world. So if you are in SoCal, we would love to see you stop by and hang out with us and listen to the i50. To learn more, you can watch the videos on the end screen of this video and visit the links in the video description below. If you are interested in trading up your old headphones, amplifiers, or other gently used audio gear for a new amplifier, check out the links in the video description to our trade up program and don't forget we will price match other authorized dealers. We have some cool videos coming this year with new product announcements so don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know. From $150 earphones to multi-million dollar home audio, cinema, and automation systems, TSAV is a hi-fi enthusiast paradise for building the system of your dreams. So let's start the conversations in the video comments on what you think of the Audio Research i50 integrated amplifier. Do you have a favorite speaker pairing? While you're there, smash that like button for us. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.